this medical school will help to train young people in a wonderful way to be able to carry out the ministry of Jesus. And to me, this is a beautiful indication today of the joining of God's great love for physical and spiritual health. The interesting thing is you don't have to be a medical doctor to be a wonderful uh, purveyor or sharer of health education. Every one of us can understand simple health habits, but physicians especially will help to lay the foundation so that people can truly be healthy physically and spiritually. The government will always put a nurturing environment to support the different stakeholders and government partners. And we are very, very grateful to this initiative, which comes along to put up not only a Rwandan medical school, but a region and beyond. I'm extremely excited and delighted to see this project starting, and I can't wait to come back and, you know, uh, the inaugurate the finishing of the project. So we are looking forward for realization of our dream, and we know that it is going to transform many, many, many things in our division in terms of uh, developing young men and women in the area of medical science. We are looking forward for a total change also in the life of the church because we know that when we train our young people as doctors, those will help us in accomplishing the vision of comprehensive health in evangelism and in mission. People around the world are in need of good medical care and good medical education, preventive medicine. There are just an infinite number of areas of medicine that need to be addressed. And to have a university here that is offering a medical education is so exciting. Oh, I think it's a very historic moment. Uh, it's something that is, is, um, has been needed for many decades. And there have been many who have been dreaming about it uh, for those decades, and today is the fulfillment, or at least the beginning of that, marked by the laying of this stone, which is a physical indication of what will come in terms of not only the buildings, but in terms of preparing young people to serve as Christ would have them serve in the area of medicine. We hope to be coming back soon and inaugurate the ECD Medical School. And so we're excited to hear the commitment of the President of the General Conference and to hear also the commitment of the government of Rwanda to be able to work with us in this journey of establishing uh, a medical school in East Central Africa Division. We have been closely working with the Ministry of Health and Ministry of uh, Education of the government of Rwanda. And this special occasion they have been able to come physically and lay the foundation stone for the ECD Medical School. This medical school that we are planning to start here is going to support the work not only in this country but outside of this country within the, this continent, even abroad. And uh, you remember our mission has four pillars. One of them is health, and we are trying to see how we can accomplish that mission. This medical school is indeed a blessing to the whole East Central Africa division and the whole Africa, who knows, even beyond Africa. And we invite every church member of the Seventh-day Adventist Church, as we are all committed to make sure that this medical school becomes a reality. To do a medical school well requires collaboration with our government entities as well as across the disciplines from education to health. So I am so glad for the spirit of collaboration that I have seen here today and I hope that some of our viewers will say, I would like to be a medical missionary and I want to enroll in that medical school and I hope that there's some 
physicians that would like to be part of the teaching faculty. And I hope there's some teachers in other medical schools or maybe someone who's completing a PhD who would like to be part of this medical school as a teacher. I hope that every one of the viewers will pray and find some way to be part of this. Thank you.